Hi, today I'm going to discuss on how to send HubSpot leads data to Zoho CRM leads or contacts module automatically. Uh, let's say every 8 hours or 24 hours or any given period of time. There are two situations that you can send HubSpot leads data to Zoho CRM. The first is we can enter a URL link in web browser so the function can be executed immediately. Uh, for example, uh, if this is the uh, uh, web browser and uh, if I type this URL and uh, say this is your website name and your folder and this is the PHP uh, files which including the function. If we press enter uh, what's going to happen is uh, it will go to this your website this file and execute the uh, the function and then the function will go to grab your uh, HubSpot leads and send it to Zoho CRM. The second option is we can create a, a cron job uh, uh, installed in your in your website server. This cron job can run every let's say 8 hours or 24 hours or any given time so it will always run on that time you don't need even uh, worry about it if there is any new data in your HubSpot leads section it will be sent to Zoho CRM before I do a testing I uh, should mention uh, the token generated through HubSpot to access the data through API is only valid for 7 hours 59 minutes. This token means an uh, access number. The number is valid only, let's say, uh, 8 hours. Uh, after 8 hours, that, that token number expired. So the API function, when you want to go to get the uh, data from uh, HubSpot lead, uh, you won't get it anymore. So that means we need to create uh, uh, another cron job to automatically renew the token number, um, let's say in eight hours. Usually I will do is six hours. So we always get this valid token number to uh, access your uh, HubSpot account. Okay, let's do an example. This is the web form. Uh, from uh, one of my clients website and uh, if this form submitted it was sent to HubSpot leads account so I'm going to type my name testing right now is 12 17 afternoon I'm going to type my my Yahoo account so going to click submit after I click submit I will go to check the uh, uh, HubSpot leads okay I'm in HubSpot account let me go back to the uh, home page first and I will click the leads okay as you can see this is the one 12 17 is the new one. Let me for leads detail. This is my personal email address. And uh, let's go have a look at Zoho CRM. Now the first thing I want to do is uh, I want to check the uh, the leads immediately to see if it's existing in the Zoho CRM right now. Uh, so I will copy the valid uh, URL link and uh, send uh, uh, this information to the website server to run the PHP function. So I just typed in the web browser and I press enter. Okay, it says one lead found. 
So this is the, all the information from HubSpot. So it says inserted successfully, and uh, this is the, my Yahoo email address and my name. Okay, it's looking good so far, but we need to go back to check to the whole CIM if that is true. Let me go to the whole CRM. Okay, this is the Zoho CRM. Oh, I will go to click the leads and I will refresh it. Let me see. Okay, this is my leads. So it's uh, synchronized and sent to the Zoho CRM account. And from here, you can see some information related to HubSpot. This is the ID and the request event demo. Those all information are from the, the uh, HubSpot leads section. You can see the history from data. Yeah, any information from this leads section, we can push to the Zoho CRM. Okay, the previous demo is uh, just to show you, you want to manually to upload the, uh, the Zoho, the HubSpot leads data to Zoho CRM. And if you don't want to do that, that's okay. You can set up, uh, we can set up a time, let's say eight hours uh, or 24 hours. So that function uh, can run, always can run in your website uh, server um, and uh, fetch the data from uh, the HubSpot and then send it to your Zoho CRM automatically. That's all. Thank you. Bye.